Hello everyone, it's Jack Cotton, luxury real estate expert, author, and agent. I'm here inside my beautiful, luxurious, but not overly ostentatious Cape Cod office, starting a new series today with the number six. What possibly could the number six mean? Well, I was thinking about we're about halfway through the year, so it might be a good time to think about doing six more transactions through the end of the year. Six more than you were planning on anyway. Whether you plan on one a week between now and the end of the year, or one a month, or one a day, whatever, what if you could do six more transactions at the end of the year? And in the process of doing that, what if you could make your business more predictable, more duplicatable, and more controllable? Hmm, what would that mean to you and your family? So um, let's do some math and see if it's really worth looking at this at all. So if you write on a piece of paper your average commission per deal and multiply that times six, and then ask yourself the question, what would these extra six deals mean to you and your family? Extra trip, some time off, new car, whatever. Um, so just think about that, because you know in many markets, the way that it, when I talk to agents around the country, in many markets around the country, it's been smooth sailing for a long time. The wind's blowing in the right direction. You just put the sails up, and off you go. But I'm telling you, I'm talking to some agents from different parts of the country, and we're finding um, it's looking more like this. They call this um, being in irons. That's when the wind is all over the place. It's kind of squirrely. You can't really predict it, and the boat sort of sits there, going nowhere as a guy tries to figure out how to adjust the lines, to adjust the sails, to catch whatever wind there is. The market is in irons in some market. Inventory is starting to pile up on certain price ranges, especially when you get over eight figures in many markets, not all but some. So this whole idea of doing six more transactions can help us power through this if you find this is indicative of what's happening in your market. Now, does this mean we have to work harder? Um, I think it means we have to work smarter. There's a whole thing about working harder, and I saw this on the internet somewhere where this guy's working away in his office really hard, and he notices a fly throwing himself against the window trying to get to the outdoors beyond. Well, the next window over was open, and if the fly had just gone over three feet, he wouldn't have wound up like this upside down on the windowsill hours later on. I mean, he was working hard, but he really wasn't getting where he wanted to go. So sometimes we have to look around and see what the possibilities are for us to do things differently, do things better, do things more wisely so that we can get to where we want to go. So that's what we'll be uncovering in the next few weeks. In the meantime, don't forget the first Tuesday of every month is Luxury Real Estate Unplugged. Go to the website, check it out, log in, join us, and learn. Until next time, make it a great week.